tired of spending a lot of damn money and getting absolutely nothing you was hoping to get, head on over to MrMuckCoin.com for the cheapest, safest, most reliable coins in the community. Use code GS for 20% off your purchase. Don't forget you can also purchase training there as well. Link is available in the description. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. We are about to jump into an online head-to-head -head gameplay. And this is the first time using the D-Man, Mr. LeBeau. Powered up, tiered up with some chemistries. We got him to a 97 overall, 98 play rec, 99 man, 95 zone, 92 acceleration, uh, 92 press, you know, good block shedding, good hip power, good physical corner. And we go up Long against M. Keats. Now, Charles I have faced him to uh, not too long ago in a video, and uh, we were successful. But I think this is the before the patch when I was I running cross me. He runs a lot of, like, pat sales, a lot of bunch, a lot of very difficult to stop offense. His offense is definitely difficult uh, for me to, to stop. Uh, first and 10, first play, just comes out in bunch, and he just throws a hot one right over the top right there for a uh, big completion and if I remember correctly <laughs> when I was facing him when I matched up I was like, oh, great I'm probably gonna have a tough time stopping him because I don't think I did very well stopping him the first thing second to 14 right here he uh, steps out of the pocket with Vic then just goes underneath thankfully he only gets one foot and bounce we got him to a third and 14 and this is where we got to get off the field but he goes just really quickly underneath right there takes a little quick uh jump off and it makes it a manageable fourth and eight and on fourth down he just hits a wide open drag from Franco Harris who gets plenty of yards for the first down and that's frustrating right on fourth down we get him to a big fourth and eight and then we're unable to get off the field and then Calvin just breaks two tackles on the in route and he ends up scoring the touchdown and he hits me with the moose celebration so um this right was a little odd he must something must have happened to this young man to where he literally will squib every single time he can see the ball pretty much midfield like every single time and I know every single time because he scored a lot there was a lot of kickoffs this game because he scored a ton on me uh, right here, we take off with Vic, and this is why Vic is so valuable, is that a lot of people are sending a lot of pressure, a lot of heat with no spies, and I'm able to just go on ahead and take off with Michael Vic and make him pay for that. He's running nickel normal, and he's sending the cornerback uh, blitz, so sometimes, but whoop, sometimes he'll go on ahead and uh, blitz the middle linebacker and the, the corner. Sometimes he'll send absolutely no one, kind of like a bluff blitz, but this right here. It's almost, almost got loose with Vic, but Clowney on the edge was having none of that. Second and nine right here. He sends the corner. We're standing in the pocket looking for somebody to get open. We, not the best read by me. Thankfully, he wasn't picked off. Right here, big third and nine right here. And we find Tyreek Hill kind of open, but he kind of was congested, but he holds on to the pass. Very big play. And right there, I showed that because the nickel normal, he kind of hovers over the middle, and that right there gives me plenty of outside. That right there was my first rush. I was like, okay, if he's going to do that, He's pretty much giving us the outside, and as long as the blocks hold up, now we should have a field day with being able to run the ball, hit the outside, with him being able to uh, go on ahead and uh, you know, put so many people over the middle. As Steve Davis racks him to sleep, baby. I'm going ahead and rack him to sleep. 7-7 seven to seven after that tie game. We're back again on defense where I do not want to be. I don't want no smoke, man. I can't stop this guy. Uh, back again with his offense. And uh, we finally get a start. I was like, you know, let's try some 3-3-5 three, three, odd, right? Let's let's give it a shot. It's, it's been patched, but let's maybe we'll get a lucky sack or two. And actually, first play with it, we get a big sack. Third and seven right here. We're sending the world, and we get a shed, and we get another big sack. And then this is where it just, it's just frustrating. Fourth down, a big fourth and 17. Thankfully, he had this wide open streak, but he actually goes to the end route. And look at his passing six for 709 yards. I just cannot stop his uh, route combination. Beautiful read right there over the top and we're unable to get there in time and he goes on ahead and gets himself let, let me turn my gain up a little bit maybe maybe i need to be louder for you beautiful bastards so he goes on ahead he scores 14 to 7 and once again <coughs> i'm thinking to myself I, I need to figure something out on defense like i i can't stop him i i can't stop him no matter what it is i'm trying and I, since the patch i have yet to lab any type of pressure because of the move and a lot of things going on so I haven't found any defense. I'm just really sitting in stock, like cover four and hoping for the best um, because we got some really good coverage guys. But now it's coming back to bite me because I don't, I'm not sending him any pressure. He's got all day and he's making me pay for it with these crisp route combinations he's got. Second and 12 right here, we catch him off sides and we do have X wide open cutting uh, on the left side of the field. My man's on big spin. Unfortunately though, we do not get in the end zone. We get stuck 
at the two yard line. He has two timeouts remaining. We're going to, of course, decline that. Get the ball in the two yard line. So we figure out we're really close to scoring here. He dives, he misses. I should have went with the spin move, but I did not. And uh, he calls the timeout. Very next play, we try just the HB dive. We don't even gain a yard. And he calls his last timeout. Third down, let's try a toss. And I end up tripping over Juice. Juice check right there. We're going to go on ahead and take as much time down as possible. And unfortunately, we have to settle for a field goal. That right there was definitely a, a very frustrating thing to do. But we get the ball back at the half. As long as he doesn't score here, we have an opportunity to take the lead with the touchdown. So hopefully we can just uh, be in that situation. It all starts with getting a stop here. He goes underneath, stays in bounds. Definitely very helpful for us. Right here, look at the slot on the right side. Definitely had a step on us. Thankfully, Michael Vick don't got guns in here because if he does, he would have just hailed that ball downfield. And who knows what would happen, but we end up getting the sack nonetheless. So here, it's like, all right, my defense has been buns all game, but the defense is not, you know, uh, letting us down right here. Our offense, it's our offense job to put our defense on the field with the lead. And let's see what happens from there. Once again, a squid kick. And we get, you know, great field position. Not really. He must have gave back seven kicks in one game. <laughs> now it's like, all right, man, let's see if we can establish the run. We were very pass heavy first half. We snuck in a few runs towards the end, but um, we were pass, pass, pass. And LT just like, yeah, you're going to stay pass, pass, pass because I'm shutting everything down. Big third and eight right here, and this is what Michael Vick does. He's able to take off, get a huge scamper, and puts us in field goal position right there. And uh, we don't want a field goal. <laughs> we definitely don't. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, points is points at this point, but um, if I do get into a field goal situation, honestly, I don't know what it is I'm going to do because I feel like I need a touchdown right here. I feel like it's touchdown or bust because I don't think I can stop him defensively. First and 10, we go back inside with uh, Franco Harris. I thought that right there was a first down. Madden thought otherwise. We go second and inches, fullback dive. Juice check does not, I believe, does he get the first down? I think he does. No, he does not. Third and inches, though, we end up hitting the toss on the left side. And T. Davis does get the score. If we would have not gotten that, would have been a tough decision. But I'm pretty sure I would have went for it just because of my um, lack thereof of, you know, faith of having to get a stop on on uh, this defense. Like, he, look at that. Like, <laughs> this kid offense is good. It's good. And the only way to stop someone like this is to get pressure. And I don't have any pressure yet. So I'm definitely going to have to hit the lab. I can't rely on, you know, block shares like that, you know, have been getting me wins. But since the patch, we definitely got to find some pressure because i'm definitely struggling uh without it so we got to hit the lab we got to find some blitzes that are going to work and that are going to help us uh, not give somebody all day because if you give someone all day this is going to happen i hate passing the ball but if you give me all day i'm gonna cook you up you know and this is the same with a lot of a lot of uh players in this game where if you just give them too much time and they're just going to chef you up hibachi style and just cook you right in front of them third and nine though we uh, actually put a good defense out on the field we get a stop we force a um an illegal uh, pass right there by Vic. So he's going to settle for the field. He's going to tie the game. So I'm thinking, all right, he's not going to squib, right? Like, this is possibly last possession right here. There's no way he's going to start me at midfield, right? And he does. He just still doesn't. He wants no smoke with the kickoff. He wants to go on ahead and just start us really, really, really close to field goal range. I'm not really sure what the thought process is behind that, but it is what it is, man. Right here, we step up and we take off with Michael Vick. And with just one play, we are in field goal range. And the very next play, man, we run the ball with TD. We hit the outside. Good spin move right there. We cut up field. And we end up just getting to the two-minute warning here with the second and five. So another run play right here. We hit the outside. And we break a tackle. But that stumbling animation, I couldn't cut up field. So he saves his timeout. Third and three. We try a sneak with Franco here. That gets shut down. So all right, we're going to go on ahead. We're going to kick the field goal. And uh, we're probably going to have to see if we can win in overtime or I'm already preparing for overtime or last minute drive because, I, I, again, he's literally scored every time he touches the ball. But he has yet to not score. And I have yet to get a, like a decent stop to give me some type of motivation. Even when I got him my fourth down a few times, he comes through with big plays. Right there, big tackle right there, knocking the helmet. And it's like, all right, we're going to go back with the 3-4 odds. We're going to go on ahead. We're going to send the squealers on the edge. He's coming out in his uh, ever-so-popular bunch. And we're just going to hope that he can make a bad read or the pressure gets to him at this point. So, of course, we're spotlighting Hill because of the speed. And uh, he has the wheel where he's running verticals. I run out there, and he finds the in route, the drag route, and boom! And who recovers none other than the debut of Diggy Level, David? My man with that thousand play wreck comes up with the big recovery 
And that right there is going to do it. We run just one more play. We put it on conservative. We didn't want to fumble. He goes on ahead and will quit after, like, stopping me. Not really, you know, sure. I don't know. Um, I would be very frustrated, too. Uh, literally got no stops all game. But what helped is that he spun immediately after catching the ball. There was nobody near him, and he did an immediate spin. So he was unable to do any type of move. He couldn't cover the ball because he was stuck in that animation. He couldn't juke. He couldn't truck. He couldn't back juke. He couldn't dive. He couldn't do anything. So it was a free shot. It was a free hit stick. And we took advantage of it. And we end up getting the uh, huge uh, fumble. And that right there is going to be the end of the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. My man LeBeau with the big recovery to win the game. It's your boy Jess. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.